Oh, wait. hi guys. I'm just here outside of the garden area. Uh, beside this, um, this is a cherry tomato plant, and uh, uh, just want to quickly show you how I harvest um, these cherry tomatoes. And one way you can harvest them, and that ensures that the um, freshness stays for a little bit. But before I do so, I didn't really prune them, so I'm gonna go ahead and. Uh, get them tied up now there's a um, tomato cage here but there are vines that's growing all over I didn't expect it to get to this point all right so that's tied up um, although they're not in direct contact with the um, with the ground because here I have wood chips See if I can get this one untangled. I think that's the only one I have here right now. So I'm gonna see if I can get this untangled. But this plant ended up here because I moved the um, these peach plants here. Three of them, they were not doing well in their um, previous location. So I moved them here and uh, I added some compost to the holes before planted and I added some compost at the end. And uh, the compost had um, tomato seeds in them. And so they germinated and this is the uh, result of that. So when I realized it was the tomato plant was here, I decided to leave it rather than relocating it and then um, it encountering shock. So I'm gonna just tie this up at another time, but I'll go ahead and show you how I harvest uh, these cherry tomatoes. So notice they are at different stages. There's some that are ripe, even ready to be eaten. There's some that are midway, and then there's some that are turning. So what I do is I cut it from here, this location, um, from the main stem and that way um, it will stay fresh because they're all on the vine and then I can just take off the ones that I need the others will ripen so there are uh, two more bunches here I'm gonna go ahead and get those okay I have one here and uh, there's another one at the bottom here now there are if you could zoom right come bring the camera right here notice these are not quite ready ideally that's what i would hope for so what i'll do in this case and especially since these are ready to be used right away i'm just going to clip them off like so so notice there's still a connection I just don't pull it off of the vine so these are the minus stems con minus stem connections okay and I'm going to do the same for the other and that allows the remaining tomato green tomatoes to mature some more and the vine now it looks like these three may be ready at the same time so during that time i can cut that main stem off okay so same goes here so i think that's it on this vine now here uh, if we can zoom this one in if we can get a close-up here also i may have to do the same with this because this one is turning but the others are not ready so this is the harvest from the plants and I think it's multiple plants here though. There are multiple plants. But this is our harvest from this particular plant. So this is what I wanted to show you. Um, this is a little tip. If you um, cut them with the stem attached, they will, the freshness will be maintained and uh, they will actually last a little longer also. So thank you for joining me in this video. And until then, I'll see you in 
the next video. Happy gardening. <laughs>